is probably the first day I have felt this normal in a long time. I just feel like myself. Um, I went to the store and bought a present for a friend. I'm really pleased with myself right now. I have not gone shopping since surgery on my own because, you know, carrying things on crutches, kind of challenging, but I really had to get a couple things today. So I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I just kind of wasn't thinking about it because like I'm used to having, I'm used to being able to walk in my head, like I'm used to having hands free. And so I just hobbled in there on crutches and carried out, wait for it. These are housewarming presents for a friend, a oil diffuser, oil, that would make sense, a puppy bowl, a bag of snacks because I decided to eat like a child today, and then this thing to make my car not smell terrible. So I carried those throughout the store on crutches. like. Like all the things, and I'm very smug about it. Now, did I look ridiculous? Probably, I probably looked quite terrible and no one made eye contact with me. I then texted Brian that I was basically Superwoman because, you know, basically. And he was like, why didn't you just get a shopping cart? And I was like, why didn't I, how, how would I push it? And then he just sent me this. Thanks, babe. It's always good to have someone around who will always make fun of you. And I went and just got a shot of espresso, just went and hung out with some friends. I'm gonna go hang out with my, um, good friend and we're gonna go to painting with a twist and not think about serious things and just have a good time. It is so nice to get away from medical appointments and dreading surgery and thinking about what other people are thinking about me and thinking about being an amputee and the big life change and blah 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 like I'm just here. I'm just me and I just feel awesome right now <laughs> and I'm so grateful for today and for this opportunity. Over the past couple months I've tried to do things that were like me, things that were like normal, um, but a lot of normal things were so different that sometimes it exaggerated how different things were. It just made it clear that like, oh this is not the same, I am not the same. Today was not one of those days, today just felt like me, I feel comfortable like just comfortable in myself and comfortable driving around town and comfortable just existing. I cannot tell you how refreshing that is for me because I have not felt this way in like months. <laughs> I don't think I realized how much I needed this. It's my crutches hitting each other. I've definitely tried doing like normal things, um, like drawing for instance, but this is gonna sound lame, but trying to carry my drawing supplies um, or getting upstairs to my drawing table and then sitting on the like the little stool that I have but having nowhere to put my leg and like I can't sit the same way and it's really uncomfortable. These are just like all constant reminders of like I'm different, like you're different now Joe. And so having a day where I'm not constantly reminded that I'm different is nice. Like it's really cool and I think it's made me realize I need to find more stuff like that where I'm not constantly adjusting where I'm not always trying to find something to adapt to because there's a lot of adaptation that happens right now in life but it doesn't need to be all the time and I think I do need breaks from it and the only break from it being sitting on the couch that's not good like there need to be like healthy productive fun breaks from it um, that are still me that are still like investing in me or doing things that bring me life bring me joy or passion um, but aren't just reminding me of how different things are right now. And it's not that I can't do things that I could do before because I can, it's just that sometimes the adjustment is so exhausting itself that it's not worth doing. Like the fun is, for now, sucked out of it uh, so that the reward that I would get from like sitting down and drawing the way that I would before, I just have to find a better way to do it and I'm working on it and that's just like one example. For instance, also, I used to drive and listen to music to like relax and calm down and I had some time today where I wasn't doing anything before I went and saw my friends and um, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna drive around, I'm not gonna go home. So I just drove around and I listened to the Joe Rogan podcast, Joe, I love you, and it was so nice because there's nothing about that experience that reminds me that anything is different. Like, I can drive. Um, I'm driving with my left foot. I learned to drive with my left foot when I was in high school because I was having surgeries then, like I told you guys, and um, it was just normal and nice and relaxing and I can I feel free because I'm on the road and um, there's no restrictions with me driving and God, it's just been a good day. It's been a really good day where I feel so much lighter and I am so grateful for this. 
Never thought ahead of my two feet 